Assalamu alaikum. I was about to sleep and then I realized why not just explain a web scraping to do you guys in just a few maybe 10 or 20 minutes. So let's get started. So what is web scraping? Web scraping is nothing. We just uh, send request to the uh, website, get the HTML and we pass it. Okay, let's say we have a website. This is the website. So what we can do is and this is our app. Uh, so we're gonna copy this thing and this is our app. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to send the request to the website and then we're going to get the D, uh, HTML back. So what we're going to do with the HTML, can I just unselect this? <laughs> Let me just fix this thing. Here we go. And if we go, what we're going to get is we're going to get the HTML. So we're going to pass this HTML and extract all the valuable items that are required for our use case. Let's say I'm going to send the request to the Google and uh, and I'm, I want to extract this first H3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the request to this URL and I'll get all this source code. Let me just show you. Right click, view page source and I'm going to get all this code now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, using the parser, I'm going to parse the HTML and extract this H3. So yeah, that's how we do web scraping. So uh, in order to do the web scraping in Android, we have we're gonna use two libraries called uh, one is called Wally. It is a networking a networking library by the Google, and second is the JSON. That's a HTML parsing library. We can also use this library to uh, for networking as well, but uh, I'm not recommending this. So for this reason, we're gonna use Wally. Okay. So in order to uh, in order to add them into the project, go to this website and go to download. I guess. Let me just, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I added this into my project. So I have created a new project, it's already syncing. So let me just go to the Gradle, build that Gradle. Go down, add here, web scraping, lips. And let's just add this like this and remove single, single, whatever this thing is with the double. And let's copy Wally as well. So, so in this video, we're going to do is we're going to web scrape my own website, my very own, very cute website. So a lot of you as a uh, lot of you guys were noticing that I'm making this video in English because that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about switching to the English. But you say, Alhamdulillah, kind of good. And uh, a lot of people like this, me making a video in English. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this request to my website and uh, we're going to extract my photo and this, uh, this adding a title or whatever the thing is and this this description of mine okay so uh, first of all copy this link and let it just build this thing okay so i'm gonna meet you in a few minutes maybe all right so we got a project so this project is using like uh tomal for in order to manage those these dependency but we can also just paste the library simple over here okay so i'm gonna fix this typo issue and uh, what's over here i guess it's gonna um, tell me to use version catalog so i'm not going to use it sync now if you don't know about the version catalog we define our libraries in the tomal file in the version catalog you can watch the philips video on this topic okay but we can use uh libraries like this as well okay so we got our project so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to explain to you how these uh, how these parser work so let's just create a file over here let's just uh, name it um, mm, parser example and we're going to have the main function and uh, what we're going to do is let's say i have a html which looks like this take it uh, i'm gonna use the multi-line <laughs> multi-line string i'm going to use the multi-line string and here we have the h3 which is called uh, hello heading 3 i'm not going to hello and we have h1 ticker we have h1 and uh, which is called heading 1 so suppose i'm going to extract the heading 1 this this inner text i'm going to extract it uh, i want to extract the heading 1 so i'm going to do is this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split the string from h1 so after that we will we'll have this part of the string so after that we'll, uh, i will what will what i will do is i will just simply uh, split the string from this part okay so let me just show you uh, html 
dot apply split and h1 h1 and uh, what i'm gonna what i'm gonna left with is this part of the string okay so after that i'm gonna also split this so i'm gonna call h1 with closing tag and i will get the first part of the string which is this okay so in order for you to trust me we can print this uh parsed html and we're gonna print this print print line parsed html okay so let's just run this program boom we got our heading one so first we did is we split this part of the string and uh, we got this part we split all the string and we got this part okay and after that we split it string from the closing tag of h1 and then we get the first part of the string here as you can see so in this video we're going to use uh, jsup so jsup use the same techniques i don't know i didn't read the whole source code but uh, that's the basic of it okay so let's just get to the main activity and first of all let's just send this request using volley so we have url I'm not going to use any kind of freaking architecture just simply copy paste this thing no don't no repository no model nothing like this just simple code okay so what i'm going to do uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the string request using volley uh string request and here we need to pass a url and then the listener success listener or maybe listener yeah listener equal to and we're gonna need the error error listener as well error uh, listener something else or maybe what we need arguments are not allowed okay we can't just pass this name argument like this all right so here in this part we're gonna get the response which is uh, html of my website and here if we if we face an error we're gonna get this error over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just here create a tag string private const well tag is equal to cls come on live template work here we got the tag so i'm gonna print the log which is it dot uh localized message all right so here we're gonna get the html so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just simply simply i'm gonna just say we got html okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just parse this html so i'm gonna say parsed html is equal to jsoup jsoup and uh, let's just import this come on yes dot pass okay something like this it was maybe interface or something like this it uh, we can't call a constructor to jsup object okay so we get the document we get the whole freaking document for it we we have successfully passed the whole um i mean my whole html so what i'm going to do is i'm going to extract these elements from this past html so first of all i'm going to look where is my the image okay so for this for i'm going to search image so f this is the first image what we got as you can see on the left and then second image is our main image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say well image is equal to past html dot get element by tag tag get elements by tag which is image and we're gonna we're gonna get the all the image elements on uh, all over the uh, HTML yeah so we're gonna get all these images into this image list this kind of list of elements so we can over uh, obviously iterate over it something like this for each or something like this but we need the second image as we know this is our first image and this is our second image 
So what I'm going to get, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, I'm going to extract the second image from the elements list. See, we got the only element. If I remove this, we get elements. Yeah. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I got this whole uh, tag. So I'm going to extract the, uh, I'm going to extract the source of the image. So here I got the image. So in order to extract the source, I can just call that attribute method. And here I can pass the attribute, whichever attribute I want to get. So I want to get the SRC attribute. Okay. So we got a string. We can print this. Look at the image, nodal image. Okay. So after that, I want to get this main gigantic title. So here I can also just use the class to get this. Uh, get this title. So let's just search how many items are using widget title class. So this is the first element which is using uh, widget title class and in in total we have eight elements. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do is well heading is equal to past HTML dot get element by class. Here we get the lot of lot of selectors that we can use in order to get these elements. This is uh, this is like a JavaScript if you know if you are coming from the web development. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna pass the widget title class and let's just extract the first element from the uh, widget uh, widget titles. Okay, meaning. Uh, what we did is when we call the get elements by class method, uh, we pass the class, all the element that are using that is using widget title class in the HTML is going to come in this heading heading uh, attribute or I mean heading variable, obviously. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first element from this list. OK, same uh, same what we did with the image. OK, here I can just call the text method to extract the inner text of this element. Okay, we're going to get this whole gigantic element, something like this, we're going to get this whole H2. So I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this inner text. Okay, so it is the same like what we call in uh, what we call in JavaScript called inner text. So after that, I can print this, let's just copy this. And let's just print the heading. And after that, I wanna I wanna extract this this little description. So let's just inspect this. And uh, do we have any class? Yeah, we have the div, which is the parent of the paragraph, and it's called it has a class called content. Let's just search for the content. We have meta uh, class is equal to content. All right, all right, all right. I don't think we're gonna have. Um, mm -hmm. content, 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 main content area. Yeah, so this is the first element of class content, which is uh, this is the first element from the uh, dome, which is using content class. All right, I'm going to do the same with this content. And instead of widget title, I'm going to use the content. And here, I'm going to do this content. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, send this request using volley, volley dot new request queue. We're going to pass the context, which is this, and we're going to add the request here so that it sends the request to the add reader app. So let's run the application. That's pretty much it, the web scripting guys. So yeah, let's run the application on the emulator. Let's run it. It's going to take some time. So let's have a water break. But this time is another water. This That's an onion water. I accidentally drink this. We got another water. I, I always keep two water bottles in my room because dehydration is very, very, very bad thing. Especially for us as programmer. Why there are so many flies in my room? I don't know. The summer is coming and they are just making my teeth go bang. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, where are you going, boy? 
Oh, so yeah, that was that was my first kind of video in English. So please do let me know in the comment how's my English and there was some kind of, kind of broken moments, and I'm sorry for them. I'm sorry for the hell those moments. <laughs> Okay guys, so our app is launched on our emulator and I guess this thing is gonna send the this is gonna send the request to my website. So let's just filter by the tag. Okay, permission denied, internet missing, we forgot to add the internet permission boy. So let's just go to the manifest and my Mac is kind of laggy. So we got our internet permission, our also used to this clear text traffic. Maybe in some cases this causes issues as well. So let's just rerun the application. And I'm gonna meet you in the maybe five or ten seconds. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm promising you, boy. I'm promising you. Hey Luda, the smile friend. Okay, okay, it's running, it's running, it's terminating. It's terminating, boy, it's terminating. Um, but it's terminated, but why is showing this terminating the app? <laughs> oh my Allah. Web scraping. Oh, actually, and story is laggy nowadays, boy. Could not terminate the previous application. Let's just read on it. Oh, wow, I have accidentally debugging 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 maybe i can just restart the app i should sell this mac anyone who wants to buy this ping me on the whatsapp <laughs> see idea occurred awkward okay so our application ran and we get the html we get the image let's just click on it and verify that if this is the same image, yeah, it is the same image. And also we got the heading and we got the description or subtitles or whatever you want to call it. We got everything what I promised in the, in the start of this video. So like is on your subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay. So we, I uh, fulfilled my promise. So that's pretty much it. So that is the basic, always stick to the basic. We send request to the website, we get the HTML and we pass the HTML. That's pretty much it. All right. So yeah, uh, it was me, Atri, making his first video in English. And that's kind of a debut. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Allah Hafiz.